new video I think I haven't updated you guys on my new Avery and to be honest this isn't going to be an updated video on my Avery it's just going to be a very casual video but the main difference with my new Avery is that one it's aluminum and two it's so much more wider the door is much taller because I'm 4 feet 11 but with my wooden Avery I would have to duck but with this one it's quite tall so it's easier for me and like I said the width is wider so it's quite spacious obviously currently I have all four of my birds in here um what else oh the bar spacing on this aluminum cage it's large if it was just my cockatiels I wouldn't have rewired everything but because sky and ocean are on the smaller side I actually rewired the whole cage and what I mean by that is that the bar spacing I forgot the one you know the actual bar spacing but I got stainless steel wire and just um, hooked with zip ties this took forever for like that I would say that is like the main downside about this Avery but once it's completed it's a one-time thing that I have to do um, where I had to do the bar spacing so the actual metal that it comes with is aluminum and then the metal that I did it on top of it if that makes any sense it's stainless steel um, so yeah I mean it worked out but initially it, it was just so hard to do simply because I have to actually cut real wires and the problem with that is wire is hard to cut and you need wire cutters but yeah after a while I, I literally was having some like cramps on my hands so yeah but it's done it was a one time thing um, so I did that I did like the roof I did also the back side the size of the Avery the front and I just attached it with zip ties um, so some people don't want to go through that hassle, they may even look at it as, you know, you got a cage and then you put stainless steel wire, it's more costly, why would you do that? The reason is, is because they don't have a big enough Avery at the size that I want. This is relatively large, I know, it, I don't know if it's doing it any justice, but it is quite large. Um, so they don't have it at the size that I want with the bar spacing that I want. And if I were to do it all from uh, scratch, um, I don't know where to go for that. Like maybe someone who does welding work, whatever, whatever not. But yeah, I mean, this was something, um, this was the Avery I wanted for the longest time. Um, I actually saw, I don't know if any of you guys know Ray the Naked Bird. Um, Unfortunately, Ray did pass away, but their owner, after Ray passed away, they got, um, you know, a few other birds, and they got this exact Avery. I'm not sure if it's the same brand, because sometimes brand, uh, brands, they just rename it, but essentially it's the same thing. But yeah, it's the same thing. I just put, like, stainless steel wires all around it. It's, like, literally everywhere. Like, I put it on this side. I put it on the top. So... You know, obviously I want to make it safe um, for my birds. It's quite spacious. Like if I go in there, there's so much space in there. It's it's it's, it's quite nice. I'm not going to even lie. I'm very happy about it. But today I also wanted to talk about Canada's weather. Um, let me check. I actually have it on my phone. The Sorry guys, I'm at a weird angle. But like the, hopefully it's in focus. It's high risk, the air quality health index because that's actually why I'm filming uh, right now because I'm gonna put my birds inside now some people I always have to mention this because some people don't know this my birds I, this is an Avery but my birds are not outside they I, they're in a sunroom I close this room every night and I lock it and then that's actually the entrance to inside my home now the sunroom obviously goes out to my backyard now some people were wondering why I do that. Why do I not just get my Avery, put it outside? In my particular neighborhood, um, I don't have crazy wildlife. Like I do get occasional raccoons and stuff, but I've not heard raccoons like, I don't know, attacking birds. And I'm sure it probably maybe did happen to someone, but 
we don't really hear that here, but you know, it's just safer considering that there might also be issues with avian flu. I just feel like they're still out. During the day, I opened the doors. There's still fresh air going in. Um, there's bright light. I don't have to open the lights or anything. It's quite literally because this is all glass. So someone is probably going to wonder why do I just not use this whole area. It's all glass and they're going to probably bang your heads. So it's just safe for stay, stay here. So yeah, but I wanted to show you guys. Maybe I'll show you guys some of the toys that we have inside. And to be honest, I wanted to film this video multiple times. But what had happened, um, I didn't really like the footage. So I am going to close the door. And this is actually how I feed them. So I'll close the door. I'll lock the door. And then I'll just go in. Um, and I'll show you guys, probably not my birds. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, maybe um, uh, sky and ocean are going to be hard to film, but I'll show you guys Muffin and Blossom and also their toys. So, yeah, let me just go in and show you guys. And yes, it's messy. I am going to do a blog post. If you guys go to my website, you guys will know. That's the foraging tray that I have over here in the museum for you guys. When I go in, I'll show it to you guys a bit better. But it's really nice. They love it. Um, it's very engaging. And yeah, I'll show it to you guys in a minute. Oh, this is just the lock. I don't think that's very interesting, but just in case. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of what the inside looks like. Ocean's kind of not wanting to be on camera, but we do have Sky here. Um, he seems to be a bit more um, tame. Uh, some people were asking me how they're doing. They're doing really well, but um, they're not tame. And to be honest, the way I look at it is I kind of give you know them their space especially because this is an aviary like in a way like I, if i'm going in here every single day i'm hoping eventually they'll kind of get used to me and sky definitely has so has ocean but sky is a bit more tame and uh, he doesn't really fly away um but he doesn't also step up and as you can see <laughs> he's gone but let me show you guys some of the toys i'll also I mean, I do have my own bird shop, but I will also, um, what's it called, put down the links for other toys. Now, I do want to give you guys a disclaimer. This was a pink toy, and no, there was no water, nothing. I, I think some people don't know this, but sun, the sun, bleaches the wood, whatever it may be. It will react differently. For some of the wood, I will show you guys. Uh, quite a few examples but some of the wood it will get darker and some of the wood especially if the wood is colored it will bleach it so this was like hot pink so this wasn't like the bird shops um like it's it wasn't this diluted don't worry about it it's actually a very pretty toy it's just that because i'm in a sunroom uh it bleaches the wood and that was probably what happened to this one um this toy was from things for rings again I'll have the shop's name. This is the other toy I have from them. And as you can see, my birds have gone kind of ham on it. Um, but it was actually a prettier toy. Um, but yeah, this is what that one looks like. Um, and then this one, oh, they kind of pooped on it. But I mean, I guess, you know, birds poop. So this one is also from Things for Wings. And then this over here, this is my toy. <laughs> um, so this is the fifth one I put inside their Avery. Um, sky and ocean really like wood. You guys are going to be kind of confused as to why I might be having. These are softwood. I know it gets confusing for some people, but pine is softwood. But yeah, um, sky and ocean really like wood. Um, that's the reason why they chewed my Avery. Uh, I wish I had some clips of it, but I might. If I do, I'll show it to you guys, but they chewed everything. So this is a toy i have um i put it inside this is the first one and some birds will chew so i've had some people give me some tips some birds will chew like the rope not sky and ocean they actually chew the wood i put this like four days ago and um someone pooped there but whatever <laughs> uh, they'll probably go at it soon this is uh, another toy that i have i'm gonna oh honestly i'm so sorry i forgot her shop's name oh no i feel so bad um i do know her name but i don't want to name her name because just in case you know not everyone wants to be named online so um 
I'll have their shop. They do bigger bird toys, but they do have few selections for small birds and larger birds. Um, this this toy, it's a large toy, but the materials of this toy, if that makes sense, are soft. My birds really like this um, cork. They like this, which is just cardboard. Um, so yeah, uh, they really like the cork over here. They like a lot of the stuff. They like the paper on it. So yeah, and they did kind of poop on it, but you know what? Whatever. Um, this toy kind of hard to now um, tell what kind of toy it was. It's a swing. It's not really a toy, but you get the idea. Uh, this is from Feathered Addictions. Oh, wait, let me show you guys. Okay, here. Uh, so this is from Feathered Addictions. Sky absolutely loves this swing. It's not a toy, but you get the idea. So yeah, that one's for Sky. And then over here, I have another one that they pooped on. This was actually from also Feathered Addictions. This is their winter collection, I believe. I don't know if they still have it on their shop, but I'll, I'll just... I probably won't put every single toy, but I'll put every single shop that I mentioned. So, yeah. And then this is from the Parrot Shop. Now, this isn't the toy. I know some people might be wondering why on earth is she showing me a perch. But... This is so nice. Honestly, I don't like I'm like touching it all over, but I don't know a lot of shops that actually have this. It's really nice. Um if I'm not mistaken, it's actual rock and it's drilled. It's so nice. Like I wish there was more of this that I could buy. I don't know. I have to check her website, but I really like this. Oh my god, they're screaming in my ear. <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys the other stuff. So there's this cotton swing. I also have like this long cotton rope, but to be honest, some people don't like cotton in their Avery and that's fair. Um, do what's right for your birds. In my case, my birds do not see the cotton. If I do, obviously, she is screaming, screaming in my ear, muffin. Like she's literally <laughs> screaming in my ears. Please, here you go. Okay. She has been doing that recently, like vlog calling and stuff. So I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so this they don't mind. They actually don't use it often, so I don't know. Um, this is for, this toy is from, ooh, don't quote me on it, Little, wait, was it Little Monsters? L-I-L Monsters, Little Monsters, but toy, anyway, I'll have her toy. I am so sorry if this is your shop and I'm just butchering your names, I'm trying my best. Um, this is from the same shop that I showed you with the big birds. Um, yes, I do have that. And, ow, please don't scream, I hear you. Yes. That's still muffin, guys, screaming in my ear. It's like she's literally so close to my ear. It's actually, it's actually so loud. Yes, yeah, baby, I hear you. Okay, so this one is for for larger birds, obviously. Um, my small birds chew it. You could actually see they chew the size of it. That wasn't because of the drill bit. Um, and yeah, they, the other side I flipped it over because it it's not pretty. Okay, so I just. You know you could flip it over so i flipped it over so i'm like let me make this video a bit more pretty for my audience um so yeah they do chew pine wood i don't know i do have it's not even my cockatiels it's just gaia notion which are my budgies i don't know they're just weird so there it is some birds are quirky and weird so yeah that i'm not gonna that's my toy <laughs> Can you tell? Um, that is also that is also my toy. That swing, oh, it's so large, but I actually really, really like it. My birds really like it. I hope, I don't know if they have smaller ones. I hope they do, but I really like that. Again, we have some random bits. I'm not gonna bother mentioning them because they're from my shop. Oh, we have Sky here again. Um, the one Sky is standing on, it's from Feathered Addiction. That's from that birdie store. I'm so sorry again. And then this toy. Let me show you guys a prettier angle. It, the toy is ruined, but I might try showing a prettier angle. Eh, kind of prettier. Sorry. <laughs> it's from Feathered Addiction. Um, and yes, they did um, go at it. The, like I said, this the colors you guys are going to be seeing on camera, it looks very diluted. This isn't the parrot shop's fault or anything. I really have to emphasize these were all purple like this is something that happens in my sunroom because the sun is here all day every day it actually bleaches it so it becomes very diluted um so this isn't like they were really nicely colored it's just my sunroom um and the avery being here so it like dilutes 
all the colored toys. This toy is from the parrot shop. It's diluted, but you know, it is what it is. And we have this one. This one is a Halloween toy from uh, Feathered Addictions. This is a random toy that I made. Uh, and also from Feathered Addictions. This is from that same birdie shop. It is a larger toy, but um, my birds really like it. Again, they really enjoy it. Um, hi, Muffin. We have Sky there. See, as you can tell, they really like this one. And I'm very happy. I don't have any other... I'm. Not, it's, it's not a perch. It's like a string sort of thing where you just hang it. Um, and they really like it. So it works out well. <laughs> She's so fluffy. Yeah, anyway, this toy I really like. Um, they don't really play a whole lot with it. I think they haven't. Maybe it's because it's like really weirdly positioned. I might put it in a corner or something. But it's really pretty. Let me show you guys a side angle. Look at it. So pretty. Now, this toy is like a swing. And Sky absolutely loves this toy. I did send them also. It's from that birdie shop that I was mentioning, which embarrassingly, I forgot their name. I'm so sorry. Um, but, uh,. Sky actually stands here. I've sent them a video of it too. Sky absolutely loves this toy. Uh, he will sleep here every night. So, yay. This one's... He, they don't play with it, as you can see. They do like this, but uh, he uses it actually as a swing. So, yeah, it's really nice. It's very large. It's very chunky. So, I really, really, really like it. Muffin was getting a bit hormonal, so I'm just going to end the video. Um, they are going to also not be staying here because of the air quality. I'm actually going to be moving them downstairs for a couple of days, maybe even upwards of a week, um, where the air quality becomes a bit more stable. But for now, yeah, I did want to show you guys what's up, but they are going to go downstairs um, because I don't know if any of you know, but in Canada, we're having a lot of wildfires. So yeah, this was just a quick update. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you kind of like my new Avery. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you for watching guys. Bye-bye.